Hey friends, my name is Rodney Raccoon, and this is a story about a group of kids and their journey to find out what is polluted runoff. Along the way, they involve their friends, Samuel and Carla, and meet one of my good friends, Sassy the Salmon, who had a few problems with their watershed. Let's take a look and see what's happening as Michael and Jayla meet up at the lake. Hey there, Jayla. Thanks for meeting me here to go fishing today. No problem. I was looking for something fun to do today, and this seemed fun. Thanks for inviting me. As Michael and Jayla walk up to the pier, they stop and notice a large warning sign with a picture of a fish, crab, and a shellfish, each with a line through it. The sign reads, do not eat crab, shellfish, or bottom feeding fish due to pollution. Let's see what happens. I've never seen that sign before. What does it say? Do not eat crab, shellfish, or bottom feeding fish due to pollution. Wow. I think it means that the fish ate something bad and it's unhealthy for us to eat now too. Can we eat other fish? Or salmon bottom feeders? Good question. I don't know. But I bet Miss Grayson knows. Yeah, we can ask Miss Grayson tomorrow at group. There's a good reason for Michael and Jayla to be excited about group. See, their group holds class in a very special place. Let's check it out. All right, class, let's get started with sharing our Go Green group projects. Yes, Michael? This weekend, Jayla and I went fishing in the lake. Well... We tried to. Yeah, but when we got there, there was a big sign at the end of the dock that said, Do not eat crab, shellfish, or bottom feeding fish due to pollution. What happened to the fish, Miss Grayson? Yeah, Miss Grayson. Are salmon bottom feeders? Well, salmon aren't exactly bottom feeders, but they go where the food is. So sometimes it's near the surface of the water, and sometimes it's near the water's ground. But I'm glad you asked me about the fish in the lake, because I've invited a very special friend of mine today to help us answer that. Rodney Raccoon! Hey, Miss Grayson. Hey there, kids. I'm so excited that today we get to learn and go exploring together. Exploring? Yep. Our Go Green projects were only the beginning of us learning about how we can make a positive difference in our communities. See, our environment's big, and it's made up of lots of parts, like trees, animals, and the water supply. You couldn't eat the fish in the lake because polluted runoff impacted their environment. What? Who ran off? No one ran off. Mrs. Grayson said, polluted runoff. Oh. Hi again. I bet you are all wondering, what is polluted runoff? Well, polluted runoff happens when rainwater and melted snow wash the dirt, antifreeze, cleaning detergents, pet waste, pesticides, and fertilizers off the streets, roads, and sidewalks, and carries them into our streams, lakes, rivers, and oceans. Most of us live in a busy city with lots of people, and polluted runoff is a bigger problem in areas of high population like ours, with lots of concrete, sidewalks, and streets. Now that you know what polluted runoff is, let's peek in on the group. But I don't want to just tell you about polluted runoff that made the fish unsafe to eat. I want to show you. How can you do that? We're going on a trip. Awesome. But wait. Where are we going? That's a surprise. So let's find out what it is. Miss Grayson, Rodney Raccoon, and the kids all leave the park headed to the bus. I think they should be there by now. Let's peek in and hear what they're talking about. There are a lot of reasons why it's good for us to ride the bus together. One reason why is good for the environment. How is riding the bus good for the environment? Well, every time your parents drive you somewhere and stop the car by pressing on their brakes, metal and oils from the car falls onto the streets. When it rains or the snow melts, it washes that metal into our lakes, creeks, bays, and rivers, and that ends up in our Puget Sound. That's polluted runoff, right? Exactly! Another reason why it's good for us to take the bus is the more people that ride the bus, the less cars there are. And the less cars there are, the less cars there are to wash. How are clean cars bad for the environment? Clean cars aren't bad for the environment. It's the soaps and the products that we use when we wash our cars that aren't good. You know how you couldn't fish this weekend? Yeah. 
Well, the soaps and other products that we use when we wash our cars on the street are dangerous to fish. That's right. The water from the cars goes down the storm drain on your street, and that water becomes part of your local watershed and makes its way to where fish and other wildlife and plants live. I have a water bed at home, but there aren't any fish in my water bed. Not a water bed, a water shed. Oh. All of us live in an area with a water shed. Our neighborhoods have storm drains, and those drains lead to creeks, rivers, bays, and lakes where the water mixes together in the water supply. That process is a part of your local watershed. Now I get it. That's why the fish in the lake weren't safe to eat. Something bad got into their water supply. That's it. I bet I know where we're going. Where, Michael? Are we going to our local watershed? You guessed it. We're going to visit a friend of mine who can teach us all about watersheds and what we can do to go green. Who are we visiting? Who's your friend? You'll just have to wait and find out. I love surprises. But wait. Before we leave, you'll have to put on your Go Green shirt to become a green team member and help protect your environment. Cool shirts! First we had our Go Green science projects, and now we have our Go Green t-shirts. We're gonna really be green now. Now we're ready. Let's go! The kids all stand up to put on their new Go Green shirts over their regular shirts. And something magical happens. They appear in... Well, I won't ruin it. You'll have to watch for yourself. Sassy the Salmon? What happened? Why do you have a gas mask on? The water's not safe anymore for us fish. We're swimming away. I don't understand. Swim away? I brought my friends here to meet you so we can learn all about watersheds. Well, the first thing you'll learn is that polluted runoff is why we need to swim away. Oh, no. That's right. The water that flows through the watershed from the streets and sidewalks doesn't get filtered or treated, and it makes it to us. Polluted by car oils, harsh chemicals that people use to treat their lawns, called fertilizers and pesticides, and even pet waste. Maybe this will help you understand. about it. Would you want to drink dirty water? No! Exactly! That explains the warning sign we saw at the lake the other day. Yeah, polluted runoff is dangerous for the fish in our lakes and rivers. And polluted runoff doesn't just affect us fish. It's unhealthy for other wildlife and plants in the water. And you? Us too? But how? The water that mixes in through the watershed supplies is all a part of a bigger water cycle, and that's a big deal. Wow, Sassy, we didn't know that it was this serious. And I didn't know things had gotten this bad for all you down here in Pusic Sound. What can we do to help? Thanks for asking, Rodney. There is a lot that you can do. You can ride the bus more. We rode the bus here. That's a great start. Also, you can have your parents wash their cars at a car wash, where they have systems that filter the chemicals and waters before it makes it into the streams, bays, lakes, and here in Puget Sound. You can also carry a doggy bag when you take your dog for a walk. <laughs> I get a doggy bag at a restaurant when I take my food to go. The kind of doggy bag I'm talking about is for your dog's waste. It's for scooping up the poo. Ew! 
I know, but it's better to bag it than to let it get into your water. <laughs> you can say that again. It's better to bag it. <laughs> I'm only joking. But you can also make sure not to feed the animals by the lake or river. When you feed them, they go to the bathroom more than they normally should, and that extra waste gets into the water, too. It sounds like there's a lot we can do to make a difference. There is. There is even more than what I mentioned. You can even have your family and friends use natural fertilizers and no pesticides when they take care of their lawns. Now, when you play in your yard, you aren't touching that stuff either. Rodney, I'm so glad you brought us here to meet your friend Sassy. Now we can really go green. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the show. Here's another fun way to learn about saving your environment. By playing my Go Green video game, you can collect things out of the environment that shouldn't be there to get points and answer fun questions to move to the next level. Cool, right? But let's not spend all of our time playing the video game. Let's get back to group and see what's happening. We sure learned a lot today. Yeah, just think, before today, we didn't even know what a watershed was. And we thought Miss Grayson was telling us about someone who ran off. You sure did, but I was talking about polluted runoff and we're just getting started. Thanks, Rodney, for taking us to visit your friend Sassy the Salmon today. Anytime. My friends are your friends. Okay, group. Let's see if we can remember everything we learned today. Who can tell me what polluted runoff is? When the rain falls and the snow melts, the water hits the ground and washes the dirt, chemicals, and pet waste down our drains and into our creeks, rivers, lakes, bays, and even the Puget Sound polluted. Just like the one that we tried to fish in this weekend. That's right, and then that water ends up in our water beds. <laughs> I mean water sheds. <laughs> and what's a water shed? We interrupt this program, because we can, and to tell you what a water shed is. A water shed is an area of land where all the water, surface and groundwater, flows to the lowest point. Usually a stream, lake, or river. Now back to the program. We went to part of our watershed for our neighborhood today, but there are watersheds all over Washington that cover all of the neighborhoods. You're right. There are watersheds all over Seattle, Tacoma, and Bellevue, like the Pipers Creek Watershed in Carr Creek Park, Foss Waterway in Tacoma, Watershed Park in Kirkland, and the list goes on and on. There are some watersheds that are made up of almost all storm water. Can you believe that? And the water from the lakes, rivers, creeks, and streams all mixes as it travels to a larger water basin, like Puget Sound. But that water isn't filtered before it gets there. And that water is part of our water cycle. And we all need clean water. Remember, salmon aren't the only ones who swim in the Puget Sound. Families do too. Clean water is good for all of us. Okay, well it seems like we know what the problem is, but did we learn some solutions? How can we make a difference? Sassy gave us some good ideas. She said that we could ride the bus more. And make sure our parents wash their cars at a car wash where they filter the water before it's sent down the drain. Instead of harsh chemicals, we can use all natural fertilizers and pull weeds to make our lawns look nice. Great. Anything else? Oh, yeah. When I walk my dog, Harry, I can remember to take doggy waste bags with me and use them. Exactly. But I bet there are more ways we can make a difference if we really think about it. Well, we did learn a lot with our Go Green group projects and to the trip to part of our watershed. And we have our cool Go Green t-shirts. I bet if we work together, we could find more ways to help the environment. We could be a... Green Team! Instead of fighting against crime, we can fight for the environment. Yeah! There are a lot of ways that we can help. Just picking up garbage that we see on the street and on our sidewalks will keep it from being washed down the drains and into our watershed. Then Sassy and the other fish won't have to move. If polluted runoff happens with the rain and melted snowfall to the ground, what if we made a rain barrel? We could collect the rain and then use that clean water for the lawn. You're right, Jayla. If we use rain barrels, it will reduce the amount of rainwater that washes dirt down the drains. Instead, your parents can use that same water to water their lawns and the water will soak back into the earth where it belongs. Wow, there's a lot that we can do. Well, Green Team, I think it's time for us to move into action. Yeah! Well, that day sparked the Green Team to get to work and start saving their environment. They help plant a rain garden, and for those of you who may not know what a rain garden is, it's a garden that helps slow down polluted runoff. So when it rains, the stone, gravel, plants and shrubs will help keep the rainwater from running down the sidewalk and street and into the storm drain. Instead, the rain garden will help catch the water so it can soak back into the ground. 
they also held a Go Green car wash using biodegradable soap and picked up garbage at a local park. Here's a few clips from all the fun they had. Hey kids, it's me, Rodney Raccoon. And we're gonna have some fun today, okay? Okay? I'm gonna teach you a new song, all right? Are you ready? Get ready. It's real easy to do. One, two, Here we go. three. Come along and play with your friend Rodney Raccoon. A great way to start your day and learn some new things too. I'll be your friend. You'll be mine too. We'll have some fun with Rodney Raccoon. almost forgot. We also visited Foss Waterway Seaport where Program Director Jan Adams used the Enviroscape Coastal Model to teach us what a watershed is, ways to protect our watershed, and gave us more information on surface and stormwater issues. Using Enviroscape, we were able to add in pollutants and by using spray bottles, we made it rain. Once the rain hit the model, we got a clear illustration of how our watershed becomes polluted. So you see, we all learned a lot that day. The negative causes of polluted runoff and simple things we can do to help reduce it. We had a chance to meet my friend Sassy the Salmon and talk about other ways we can help in group. So what are you going to do? I challenge you to do something. Peace. Hey kids, it's me, Rodney Raccoon. And I brought the green team with me today and we're gonna teach you about going green. Environment friendly green. Okay, are you ready? Here we go! I want to be green. Green like the leaves on the tree. Huh? Green. Rotney, what do you mean? Green. Environment friendly green. Okay, hey, I want to be green. Green like the leaves on the tree. Green. Rotney, what do you mean? Green. Environment friendly green. Okay, hey. When it rains, do you wonder where the water goes? Down the storm drain, wonder how the water flows? Wonder how it gets polluted? Let's take a deeper look into it. You can help out like a green team. Let's start small. Remember these things. Pick a wing, your dog goes blue. Throw it away, it's really simple to do. What about when you're washing your car? Hey parents, will you wash it in the yard? Or ride a car wash, it saves our environment. One more thing before we go back over it. Don't use bad fertilizers or pesticides when you care for your lawn. If you do these things, then you can be a part of the green team. I want to be green. Green like the leaves on the 
tree. Huh? Green. Rodney, what do you mean? Green. Environment friendly. Green. Okay. Hey, I want to be green. Green like the leaves on the tree. Green. Rodney, what do you mean? Green. Environment friendly. Green. Okay. Hey. When it rains, do you wonder where the water goes? Down the storm drain, wonder how the water flows? Wonder how it gets polluted? Let's take a deeper look into it. You can help out like a green team. Let's start small. Remember these things. Pick a wing, your dog goes boo. Throw it away, it's really simple to do. What about when you're washing your car? Hey, parents, will you wash it in the yard? Or ride a car, wash it saves our environment. One more thing before we go back over it. Don't use bad fertilizers or pesticides when you care for your lawn. If you do these things, then you can be a part of the green team, too. I want to be green. Green like the leaves on the tree. Huh? Green. Rodney, what do you mean? Green. Environment friendly. Green. Okay, hey, I want to be green. Green like the leaves on the tree. Green. Rodney, what do you mean? Green. Environment friendly. Green. Okay, hey. friends, it's me, Rodney Raccoon, and we all know water is one of our most important resources. But did you know that it's being contaminated by harmful toxins going down the storm drain? Together we can protect our water by washing our cars in the yard or at a car wash, scooping the poop and walking your dog and throwing it in the trash, and using all natural fertilizers and no pesticides when taking care of your lawn. For more Go Green adventures, visit RodneyRaccoon.com. Peace.